It's actually more like a sort of really highly coordinated game of chess played by oversized men in skin tight spandex. Okay, so do, do you maybe want to have a guess what my job is? Any ideas? I'm actually an American football development officer. I know it's a bit strange, and I'm also a massive geek. So we're going to take a sort of gadgety, techy, facty look at one of the biggest sporting events in the world. Now, if you're watching an American football game, let's have a think about some of the tech that maybe some of the teams use. So you're watching it, and it probably, to maybe the untrained eye, looks like a bit of an uncontrolled mess, people crashing into each other and things like that. Well, it's not. It's actually more like a sort of really highly coordinated game of chess played by oversized men in skin tight spandex. Um, but it's actually really highly controlled. So you've got, basically, you've got these people called the coordinators. They're up in the box um, in the stadium and they're calling the shots. They're using radios to signal down to the sideline and they're also doing it directly onto the field as well because some players will actually have a radio inside their helmet and they have speakers so it plays round about their ears basically and they can speak, uh, or the coaches can speak directly to them and the coordinators in the boxes can speak directly to the players on the field. It is slightly limited though, they don't have complete control over this system. There's actually a, uh, an official called the cut-off official and his job is, says in his name, to cut off the signal about 15 seconds before each play. So they don't have complete control over that. So that's a little bit about some of the on-field tech, some of the bit about the, the Super Bowl itself. But what about if you were there, live watching the Super Bowl? You're obviously going to have a good time, but you might miss some vital information that you normally see when watching American football on TV, because there's always things like player stats or uh, th you know, things like that buzzing across the screen. There's always a little digital line to gain, a little yellow line that shows you where the teams have to get over, and that obviously moves throughout the game. It's done digitally for the broadcast. You're not going to see that when you're live in the stadium, but what Microsoft are doing, they're actually developing some augmented reality glasses. So you'll be sitting there in the stadium with your glasses on, and um, you'll be able to see the, the live action like you normally would if you were just sitting there. But through your glasses, you're actually going to get some of this information. So you might get things like player stats. You could even get that little line to gain digitally drawn onto the field through your glasses. So you're getting the best of both worlds. You're getting the action, but you're also getting that kind of stat stuff, the, the line to gain, all those different things that you would normally see on TV. Unfortunately for most of us, we're probably not going to be at the Super Bowl. It's pretty difficult to get a ticket. So what about you and your amazing Super Bowl party that's going to be filled with gadgety goodness? Well, I've got a couple of little tips, a couple of three little gadgets that you might want to throw in there to make your party that little bit better. So let's imagine you're sitting there watching the Super Bowl. You're about to have a beer, but you don't have a bottle opener in your hand. Well, you can get one of these. Okay, this is a universal remote controller. And this um, can, you know, signal into your TV. You can you can adapt it so it can work your TV or your your satellite uh, box and things like that. But it's also got it's a little bottle opener attached there, so hopefully you never lose it. And this one right here. Um, say you're sitting there, you're watching the game again, you, you want to be a good host, you want to go and offer your guests a drink, but you're really lazy and can't be bothered getting up. Well, you can use this. This is a, a little remote controlled beverage cooler. So you can basically go to your guests, you can just roll it around the floor and go and give them a drink. So you can be a good host and lazy at the same time. Now this, this one was my favourite one, this next one. Uh, let's say you're sitting there, you're watching on your big screen, your guests are watching as well, they're watching the game, and one of them is absolutely bursting to go to the toilet. Well, they don't, you don't want them to miss a play. You're a good host, you don't want them to miss some vital um, action. So what you need is this. This is a sling box right here. Now what this does, is this hooks up to your TV, so you'd hook this up to your big screen, and then you put this, uh, you put some kind of iPad or maybe a laptop or some kind of tablet into your bathroom, and the sling box, what it'll do is it'll then uh, transmit the same signal, the same picture that's on your TV onto the tablet in your bathroom, and you can just basically download an app onto your iPad or your tablet. It works on most operating systems, and it'll mirror the big screen onto your little screen. So basically, your guests will be able to go to the toilet, and they'll never ever miss a play. Problem is, if they're focusing on watching the game too much, they might miss your toilet, which isn't too good. So if you liked all of our Super Bowl facts and things, if you've got any other Super Bowl facts, you can maybe drop them down there. If they're better than mine, don't, because then that's going to make me look stupid. You know, so, so if they're better than mine, please just keep your opinions to yourself. Oh, you could like it, though. If you could like, click like down here. That'd be good.